All right. Good day, everyone. And again, thank you so much for clicking again this video. And yes, for today, we are going to have a topic from Health 8, third quarter, and that is all about communicable diseases. Okay, so let's have the content standard first. Okay, for the content standard, the learner demonstrates understanding of principles in the prevention and control of con communicable diseases for the attainment of individual wellness. For the performance standard, the learner consistently demonstrates personal responsibility and helpful practices in the prevention and control of communicable diseases. And for the objectives, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to letter A, describe communicable diseases, letter B, discuss the stages of infection, letter C, create a poster about a chain of infection and or how to prevent it. Okay, now, are you ready? Okay, but before we move on or before we discuss our lesson, let us have a short true or false game first. Okay, so here you will be presented the statement. Identify whether the statement is true or false and then type the check mark if the statement is true and the cross mark if it's not. Okay? So let's start with the first statement. Infectious diseases are also called communicable diseases. Is it a check mark or a cross mark? Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. The correct answer is a cross mark. <laughs> okay, always remember that all communicable diseases are infectious, but not all infectious diseases are communicable diseases or contagious. Okay, what is the meaning of the word contagious? Contagious means infectious, communicable, transmittable, transmissible, transferable, or spreadable okay so again contagious diseases or communicable diseases are infectious diseases that are easily spread through contact with other people or with animals okay so again communicable diseases are infectious diseases but infectious diseases are not not always communicable diseases. For example, UTI or urinary tract infection. It is an infection, but it is not communicable. It is not transferable. It is not contagious, okay? Now let's move on to the next one. Statement number two. Communicable diseases are diseases that do not pass from person to person. What is the correct answer? Okay, the correct answer is no or a cross mark. Communicable diseases are diseases that do not pass from person to person and that is not correct because communicable diseases, as I said, are diseases that pass from person to person or from an animal to person or animal to an animal, okay? Now, let's continue statement number three. A person may develop a communicable disease after becoming infected by a pathogen. The correct answer is... Okay, a check mark. Okay, a pathogen, do you know what's the meaning of a word pathogen? Okay, a pathogen is an organism that causes diseases. Pathogenic organisms are of main types of viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and worms. So we are going to talk about more of that later. Next, number four. Washing your hands thoroughly and regularly can totally prevent you from catching communicable diseases. Okay, is it a correct or a check mark or a cross mark? 
The correct answer is a cross mark. Okay. Why? Washing your hands thoroughly and regularly can not totally, because it says here totally, it means like 100%, prevent you from catching communicable diseases. And it's not correct. Why? For example, COVID-19. COVID-19 is an example of a communicable disease. Okay. Can you totally or 100% prevent yourself from um, catching COVID-19 if you just wash your hands regularly or use your alcohol regularly but not wear mask or do social distancing? Of course not. You have to still wear a mask and um, do social distancing if you want to prevent yourself from catching COVID-19. Okay, not only washing your hands, right? So this one is a wrong statement. Okay, next, number five. All communicable diseases require treatment to prevent them from becoming more serious. Is it correct or not correct? Okay, the correct answer is a cross mark. Not all communicable diseases require treatment to prevent them from becoming more serious. Okay, so thank you so much for this. Now, congratulations and let's move on to our lesson for today. So our lesson for today again is about this. Okay, this is a good example. So what is this? Okay, so virus or COVID-19 is a word from coronavirus disease 2019. So the word corona means crown and refers to the appearance that coronaviruses get from the spike protein sticking out of them. Okay, so COVID-19 is a, an example of a communicable disease. Okay, so what is a communicable disease? Communicable diseases are also known as infectious diseases, as I said before, or transmissible diseases. And they are illnesses that result from the infection, presence, and growth of pathogens in an individual, human, or other animal host. Okay, so the term infection does not have the same meaning as infectious disease because some infections do not cause illness in the host. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, chain of infection. So how does a chain or how does chain of infection happen? Okay, now let's see. Let's talk about first infection. So an infection occurs when a microorganism enters a person's body and causes harm. So these infectious microscopic organisms can multiply very quickly and they could be bacteria, viruses, or fungi. So again, these are called pathogens. Okay, so the spread of infection can be described as a chain with six links. Pathogen, the server, okay, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry, and susceptible host. So let's talk about each of these links one by one. Okay, so let's talk about first pathogen. Again, pathogen is an organism that causes diseases. These could be bacteria, virus, fungi, worms, and protozoa. Okay, so next one, reservoir. Reservoir is an any person or animal or arthropod, plant, soil, or substance or combination of these in which a pathogen normally lives and multiplies. Okay, the infectious agent or the pathogens depend on the reservoir for survival, where it can reproduce itself in such manner that it can be transmitted to a susceptible host. Okay, reservoir can be animate 
or in animate. Animate reservoirs include people, insects, birds, and other animals. Inanimate reservoirs include soil, water, food, feces, okay, intravenous fluid, and equipment. Right now, let's move on to the third one. Okay, we have here the portal of exit. Portal of exit is the means by which a pathogen exits from a reservoir. So it can be like through blood or respiratory secretions, nose and mouth, like sneezing, coughing, breathtaking, or talking. You know, in Japan and Korea, even before this pandemic, okay, if they feel that they're having like flu or they have cold, they sneeze most of the time, they wear masks to avoid transferring or to avoid communicating these diseases to other people. Okay, next, let's move on. Okay, we have here mode of transmission. It is the method by which the organism moves from one host to another. So once a pathogen has exited the reservoir, it needs a mode of transmission to transfer itself into a host. This is accomplished by entering the host through a receptive portal of entry. So again, transmission can be by direct contact, indirect contact, or airborne, foodborne, waterborne. Okay, so we know that transmission of respiratory infections such as COVID-19 is primarily via virus-laden fluid particles. Okay, and aerosols. Now let's continue. Let's move on to the next one. Portal of entry is an opening allowing the microorganisms to enter the host. Okay, infectious agents get into the body through various portal of entry, including the mucous membranes, non-intact skins or wounds, and the respiratory or gastrointestinal and genitary tracks okay pathogens often enter the body of the host through the same way or the reservoirs okay through the same way of exiting the reservoirs okay next susceptible host so not just a host but a susceptible host so when we say susceptible it means easily affected influenced or harmed by something so a susceptible host means it someone at risk of infection okay so that's it so the pathogen reserva um portal of exit mode of transmission portal of entry and susceptible host these are the links or the six links of the spread of infection now what are the common communicable diseases in the philippines do you have any idea Actually, we have a lot of common communicable diseases, or we have a lot of communicable diseases here in the Philippines. So here are the examples. Okay, but the most common are usually like dengue, okay, sore eyes, okay, HIV or AIDS. Okay, we also have um, diarrhea, cholera, influenza. Okay, so those are the most common, but we are going to talk about that next time in our next video okay so for my students okay using symbols describe what you have learned or you will prevent yourself from contracting any communicable diseases and upload on padlet i will send the padlet link on our google um drive or google classroom and then the next one using your uploaded symbols sketches or drawing on your product link as your base okay create a more elaborate poster describing the chain of infection or how you will protect yourselves from um your family um even your community in contracting these communicable diseases and again um your poster will be posted or attached in our google class room class work okay so thank you so much for today and for all that watch this video thank you so much and keep safe all the time goodbye